Good evening everybody and welcome back. In this part of the course we're going to install WordPress. This is a little bit of a difficult topic to cover and it primarily has to do with the fact that there are many platforms out there such as cPanel, Direct Admin, uh, on which you can install WordPress and between those uh, platforms the installation procedure differs a little bit. So I cannot with 100% positivity say that this video is going to be suitable for you. I'm going to be focusing on how to do things in direct admin. I'll first show you like my, one of my preferred hosting, hosting providers uh, installation procedure um, and then I will also uh, quickly demo how to do it manually. So um, without further ado let's jump right in and uh, show you how we do this. So here we are in Direct Admin. So this is, in case your hosting provider uses this, this is probably a pretty familiar view. Um, again, the setups of the web hosting provider differ a little bit. Uh, in the case of my provider, um, there is something down um, here called the, called the Installatron Applications Installer. And this become, comes in uh, pretty handy because uh, right here you have an Applications Browser and from there you can just select WordPress down here for um, uh, content management and I can just go and proceed to install this application if I wish so yeah I can just select you know a, um, a location where I want to install it, which version I want to install um, there's also some nice features to go along with this that um, basically make the management of WordPress a little bit easier it's not you know, quite a management, uh, managed hosting uh, but it goes slightly in the direction so we can select the update to new minor versions and security releases um, which is something pretty good like um, as I'm recording this video we have a major um, issue with uh, uh, with a bug in WordPress 4.70 and 4.71 so Basically, in the case like we keep this one checked, um, WordPress, WordPress would up, update automatically to those versions, so um, we wouldn't be left vulnerable as uh, many other installs have been in the last few days. So, um, plug in automatic update. Uh, I do not turn it on, to, to be honest. Um, this is for a very simple reason, that, like especially when you run something more complex, there's this chance that it breaks, so you really want to properly test up front. Um, that it properly works rather than having uh, WordPress take care of it itself. So yeah, we have, we have a couple of more options here. So there's the uh, WordPress plugin uh, automatic update. There is the uh, WordPress theme automatic update and automated backup. Um, automatic theme and plugin updates, maybe not the most ideal things, especially if you're doing something more advanced than just running a basic log, because there are issues that you run into conflicts. So you rather want to test a uh, new version up front rather than upgrading to it immediately. Um, automatic backup is definitely recommended, I would say, if you have an option like that. Uh, especially when things go wrong, you just easily want to roll back without much of a hassle. So um, definitely recommend that, that you do that. Uh, so here we have our um, administrator username and administrator password. So I can quickly copy that if, uh, if you want to and basically you also you have, you have the option to uh, turn on uh, two-factor authentication with clef I will perhaps do a video on that a little bit later on um, for now we'll just turn it off um, it's just it's a subject of a different video whether you should do some like two-factor authentication I, th I think you should um, but it just requires a little bit more effort. Uh, then there's multi-set option, which is not really necessary, so we can just go and install it. By the way, there's here also the advanced setting management, so uh, technically you could go into more detail, but um, really the Installatron installer is designed to keep things as easy as possible. So it's now time to install WordPress manually. In order to, this, to, do, to do this, we need to go to WordPress.org and on WordPress.org you see in the top right you see immediately the option to download WordPress. By the way, in the case 
what do you wonder why the audio all of a sudden changed that's because for the first part of this video i forgot to plug in the good microphone into my camera sorry for that anyway so right here we can go and download wordpress the current version at the time of uh doing this is 4.7.2 so you can just go and download that i've already done that as you may see in the uh, bottom left corner and also i've taken it already one step further because i've also already opened the zip file which can by the way be done by um, just windows, Ex windows explorer or probably something similar on the mac as well and we can just click extract all and we can extract the folder very straightforward and once we um, basically have done that we can go and copy um, the content of the zip file onto any server we like um, the next thing now is to make sure that we um, create a database so uh, we can when you go into direct admin that means that you need to go to my sql management my server has been a little bit slow uh, tonight so this may take a moment so we can create a new database um, it's called testdb2 I had a little bit of an issue earlier on, so uh, I'm doing this for a second time in case you're wondering. Then we have now testdb2, and we have a password. So that's basically. What we need and this password now is no longer valid because it's from the previous one. So. With that out of the way, we have a database created, so we have all the files in position. So basically we can proceed into um, the folder where uh, WordPress is located. So this is really where the famous five minute install comes in. So we go to location and you can just select the folder. and you can just go to um, so in this case you can go to um, the folder slash uh, wp-admin slash setup dash config dot php this will show you the um, the option in terms of languages and in this case we can just go and continue with um, English uh, United States feel free to change it of course if you're from somewhere else uh, we'll just show English. So, here we are. Um, basically, now we need the database um, name. So, um, and basically, I just basically enter just the data that I created earlier on. Um, so basically, I would enter the uh, the password and all that. It's just all visible here, and it's going to be into the going to be inserted into the w config.php. So uh, not much going on here. Uh, the database is not obviously named. Uh, table prefix. You may want to do something different. So like I can say like you know uh, d w for y. Um, it's a little bit of a precautionary measure in terms of safety. I'm not sure whether it's going to be made, it's going to make much of a difference, but there are instances apparently where, um, in case like, you know, computers have gained access to uh, a database that they uh, search for WP underscore tables. So you're just trying a little bit of guard here, but like, to be very honest, I doubt it's going to make much of, much of a difference. There's going to be a video on security. Uh, later on and there I will show you some measures that will really make a difference and make sure that you stay safe this is just like one very minor thing in the whole story so basically it says that we're okay um, so it says it can communicate with the database and that means that we are sent to the next screen um, so in this case you now we're just called uh, test install uh, let's I uh, will just um, 
pick the username Florian test um, and info at phonecreators.com as the install password is already pretty strong in my opinion so that's uh, that's the thing I will by the way be discarding this install immediately after having created this video so yes in case you're wondering putting everything into notepad is not a good idea it's not sound security advice uh, I'm just doing that for the sense of this purpose uh, for the purpose of this video uh, normally it just go straight into the last pass you see a very last pass asking but since I won't be using it anyway uh, there's very little point in it so there we are again in the uh, in the WordPress admin so um, there's usually a few things that I do immediately uh, when I've installed WordPress so um, I will immediately start adding some plugins by the way there's only two plugins really installed at the moment you create a clean install like through a manual WordPress install so that's Akismat and Hello Dolly which is sort of just a uh, it's nothing really it's just a fun little thing that WordPress does so uh, the first thing that I usually install is limit login attempts it's just like another uh, little security feature if you may uh, basically what it does is just it limits the login attempts to three um, it's just it's just one of the ways to um, make sure that you don't get a brute force attack um, however as you saw earlier there's already a very strong password chosen uh, so like this install would not be vulnerable to a dictionary attack where um, an attempted hacker will try and run a dictionary by uh, the username and password so uh, chances of this getting hacked through brute force are uh, very very slim but still um, it makes good sense to actually install it already and um, one of the other flagrants that they almost immediately add as well is a WP maintenance mode it's just like uh, at this point of course there's nothing going on on the website so my idea immediately is to just lock it down and just take everything away from the public and make sure that nobody accidentally arrives on a website that is not completely finished uh, I've seen it before that people were started to get contacted through sites that were still in development not a good idea, not a great idea uh, one other thing that, that I would also uh, quickly do is discourage search engines from indexing the site um, at this point there's absolutely nothing to index anyway but um, still just make sure that people don't arrive until you think that they're ready so um, with that we have just done a few uh, measures to um, to make sure that we can start working uh, in WordPress and start building a great site so with that we're at the end of this video so uh, thanks for watching and I catch you in the next one